Alright. I need to go ahead and start the recording. I forgot to start the recording. That was my problem. Sorry about that. Alright. I'm going to try to do these um, live streams every week. Uh, on Fridays, I want to run a modded truck. On Wednesdays like this, I want to run a, a SCS truck. Um, some Fridays, we may not be able to run a modded truck if we can't find one that we want to run. You know, there is certain ones that hasn't been updated. Um, and for you guys that's going to be watching this on YouTube, because I'm recording it for YouTube, I do apologize for starting the, uh, the recording late. I forgot to start it when I was getting ready to leave, so sorry about that. Hope everyone, like I said, is doing well. Hope you're enjoying the videos because uh, I've really been enjoying getting in here doing more. Trying to do more for you guys. If you haven't heard, SCS did announce um, in the 1.39 update for America Truck Simulator, we will be getting the low board trailers. Which is going to be interesting. See, we will, we will be getting them. Now, they're already in the game, but this is going to be owner, operator, or low boys. Which is going to be totally something different than what we've had. There's some, there's mods of a low boy out there, but there's not no real um, trailer out there. And if you're new, if um, you just not start following me over here, don't forget to follow me over on Twitch. I really would need some help over here. I don't come over here much, but I really would like to have some support over here. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching this over on YouTube. So how's everyone doing? How's the, how's the day been? Hope everyone's doing well. Like I said, now this truck today, like I said, we're running SCS's Volvo. This truck has a Volvo engine, the Volvo transmission in it. And you know we're in California, so we got to run that 55 mile hour speed limit. And guys, I want to get like a track R, something where I can back it from the inside. I really want to do that. I'm, I'm trying to work on getting away so I can get a track R because I want one. Right now, I don't have one and I want one. So. Uh, let's go ahead and close up that menu. Oh, we closed up that. There we go. We don't need that open. But yeah, guys, I um, I do appreciate everyone that comes out and watches. Um, I'm still learning uh, all this stuff. I don't get to get in here and do it like I would like to because I have a full-time job, but I am trying to do as much as I can. I would love to get more um, followers and more subscribers to the channel. And don't worry, I mean, like I said, they are modded trucks coming. I'm, I'm going to be using modded trucks over here. Um, I may not be doing live streams every week over here on Twitch. I want to do... Um, I want to see where I want to do my live streams more. If I want to do over here or on YouTube. I'm trying to decide that now. That's kind of why I'm doing these runs. I've done two runs last week. Well, one video was OS Pity Par, which didn't go very well one live stream I tried to do that it didn't go well at all I'm gonna say that um we're gonna get a thumbnail a little bit later on not right now it didn't go well 
But the other one was the ATS live stream, and it went and it went well. So I want to see, you know, if I want to do them over there or over here. See what I think is better for me. And uh, don't worry, I mean, if we have anybody chatting, I will uh, pull over. I'll be checking the chat to see if anybody's chatting. I have it set up on the screen now where I can see it, so. And uh, guys, uh, when we do do these videos, I'm going to go ahead and say this now. Uh, when we do do these videos with these SCS trucks, I will run, I run these trucks, all of these trucks. I don't run just one truck, I don't run a certain one. I run every one of their trucks. Um, I'm more fond of the Peterbilt's. That's my, what I would rather drive. But I use them all. Now as far as modded trucks, there's, I've got one in mind that I want to use. I don't know if I will use it. Um, it doesn't have the animated windows. I thought it did. I've already tested it. It don't. So I might look into that and see if I do want to make a video with it. Do a, a um, run with it. And plus maybe make a video too for the truck. Let's see how that goes. There's a lot of good good mod of trucks out there that has been updated. So. We'll do a few runs tonight. I think we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to do at least five runs if we can. This is about 500 miles, so we're gonna see how that works out. And why I'm in this live stream, there's something that I want to talk about that really aggravates me. And this is something that comes up once or twice a year. And if anyone is watching this, it's in my groups. I want to say this um, to y'all too. Mod stealing is something that should not be done. being done. I've, I've been hearing more about this in the last couple of weeks. This comes up every year, once or twice a year, where someone is stealing somebody's mod. If you're still in people's minds, you need to stop. That, I mean, that's stupid that you sit there and steal somebody's work, somebody that put their time and effort into what they've done, and they give it to you free, and you want to steal it. And put your name on it and take the credit for it. No. And if I catch anyone in the groups that's doing it, and I know about it, they will be removed from the groups. Because I won't have that. That's something that I will not tolerate. We're all, because, I mean, really intrigued, you're lucky to have a great community like this community that you have for American Truck Center. American Truck Center has one of the best communities out there. When it comes to modders and you know and all the stuff that it has, it has one of the best communities for that. I mean, turn left. There is no secret that I play LS Pretty Far, and LS Pretty Far is a lot more private. It has good modders, but it also has the more private part of the of the series where you know the modders don't really talk to certain ones, and it's you know and then. The same thing's going on over there. It's going on over here with people still have mods and modders getting mad and removing their stuff. Um, so it, it is all the same, but 
as far as the mods go, but it's it's just it's ridiculous you just steal the mod. No reason for it. But I hope everyone is enjoying the live stream. Like I said, uh, I'll stop when I get a chance. We'll probably go across the scale. Go across the scale. I'll uh, check the chat and stuff like that. Everybody, everybody's talking. So what's going on here in the chat? I know the last time I tried this was my old computer, and he, for some reason he got where he would not run Twitch. No. slow down before we get a ticket. Wouldn't be good to get a ticket. Remember too guys that uh, I'm using a Xbox One controller so my driving's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be good as it would be with a, with a wheel or anything like that. Turned out to be a beautiful day, a little bit of a small shower and the shower's moved out we can get on down the road. Have a pleasant little drive. But yeah guys, uh, like I was talking about, I mean, if, if you're still in mods from someone, stop. It, it's, it's ridiculous because you're, you're lucky to have such a great community like what we have here. That gives you free mods and gives you good quality work for free. And then you want to take it and steal it and put your name on it and upload it somewhere else. No, that, that's wrong. And you shouldn't be doing it. If uh, you haven't heard, SCS did announce that the Western Star will be the next truck coming for America Truck Simulator. There's a brand new Western Star that's coming out. That it has not even come out in the real world yet that will be coming out. We'll, we'll be getting it shortly after it comes out here in the game. So I'm thinking we'll probably get Colorado the next day, the updates for the, the new trailers of the truck about the same time. Just to be honest with you. Well, anyone new that's joining, welcome, welcome to the stream. Playing some American Truck Simulator, using SCS and Volvo being in tonight. really like to get some follows up here guys so if you like the videos and um don't get to follow me over here on twitch and also you know check out my youtube channel i you know i do a lot of things other than ats 
I do LSPD far a bunch of different types of games. I do I do not stream LSPD far. I've done it in the past and it just does not work. So that's something that I don't do. There's so many issues with it that it just it does not work. I'm being quiet guys, take a look at the uh, sights over here. She got a passenger over there, she's still looking at that phone. She looks at that phone all the time, I don't know what she's looking at over Guys, we hadn't come across the scale yet. I was going if we got if we come across the scale, I was going go across the scale, stop and check the chat and that thing to make sure the stream's going okay. But as of right now, I haven't seen a scale. We should be coming across one very soon, though. Seventy-nine miles out. We're gonna see tonight too if we can back this trailer using the mirrors instead of, instead of doing it the other way. We're gonna see if we can do it from the inside. I want to see if we can do it. I don't have a wheel. I track our R, but we're gonna see if we can do it so we can start backing trailers the proper way. Like I said, we'll, we'll get a thumbnail a little bit down the road, maybe not on this run, because I'm going to do a couple of different, I'm going to try the, I'm um, shooting to do five runs today, you know, so, one of those runs, we'll get a thumbnail. Uh, the truck that I'm thinking about running um, for Friday's uh, live stream is the W900 Long. But it hasn't been updated for the animated window, so I don't know yet if I'm going to run it. Go straight on. We can, we can pick it up now. Oh, that's a scale. Yep. Computing. 
All right, we weigh 58,285 pounds. We're gonna stop here and check the chat, make sure thing everything's going okay. Alright guys, we're back. Let's get on, get on the road. Everything looks good. Show you an outside look at this volleyball. You know, I'm not a volleyball person. My daddy is a good looking uh, truck with the red and the black stripes. Look really good. Ooh. We're drunk. Oh, look at that Tahoe. Looks good. Like I said, if anyone new is uh, joining and you're first, you're just now watching, start watching the video. We're uh, driving the uh, SCS's uh, Volvo VNN. We're um, hauling a load of cars from Bakersfield, California, to like the Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, so if you like the videos, you like the streams, uh, don't forget to uh, hit the follow button, and also follow me over on, on YouTube for different types of videos and stuff. Would really like to help to make the channel grow. I'm making some changes too guys on my um hello it's pretty far I'm I'm I want to change the siring out this is something that I haven't done in a while and I'm trying to think what I want to use I'm, I may go to a federal signal smart siring like which LAPD uses that's what I think I'm gonna go to but I'm, I'm not sure yet Yeah, guys, if, you, if you're new, uh, don't forget to follow me over here. Don't forget to go over and check out my YouTube channel.
Oh, that Tahoe looks so good. It's so good to see that Tahoe now in the uh, game. That's part of that Metropolitan Police mod that, that I have in here that's on the Steam Workshop is that Tahoe. It gives you multiple different vehicles for each state. It also has uh, police department vehicles in it, some sheriff vehicles. So it, it's, it's a really cool mod. And um, also, if you're new, uh, I'm going to try to be doing these live streams every Wednesday and Friday. That's what I'm, I'm going to try to do. Unless something comes up. Now, it may not be ATS every, every week. I'm going to have to see how that, how that works. There is some more stuff out there that I want to play. That I think, yeah, maybe we should live stream. But i to see how that works. And for anyone that's uh, just watching, don't forget to follow me over here. Really would appreciate it. We got six miles. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Turn left. Getting a little bit of a stutter down here. We should normally don't get stutters in uh, New Mexico. That's weird. So who's excited for Colorado to come out? But well, I know I'm ready for it to come out. It's gonna be something totally different. For us. You know, there's talk that there's gonna be a gold mine in it that we can that we're gonna be able to go to. Don't know what we're gonna be picking up when we go there, but. This is like down toward the airport down here. There's a big plane sitting there. The 
We actually may be going to there. And then turn right. Turn right. Right. Oh yeah, okay, I know where we're at. I've been here before. Don't come here much, so you have arrived at your destination. Let's see where they want it. Alright, so guys, we're gonna see if we can back it from the inside of the truck tonight. Not going outside unless we absolutely have to. Alright guys, we're gonna try it. See what we can do here. We're gonna hit the trailer, so I'm trying to keep it from hitting that trailer back there. I have to cut it short. They're gonna hit the trailer. We may be okay now against that trailer. Let's see if we can straighten it up a little bit. Well, that's not bad. Well, I don't think that's too bad for the first time backing it like it. I think we've done pretty good. Alright, let's uncouple it. 
All right, we drove excellent. We drove 480 miles. It took us nine hours to get here. We consumed 65.5 gallons of fuel. So let's see what else we got here. We could we could do a heavy haul. I don't want to do a special transport. Um, we got some white wine. We could take that. Some frozen foods. What we'll do the white one? Let's see if we can change the trailer here. Something a little different. Mm, I was looking just for a plain white trailer. I got to use this. We'll go ahead and just use that. We'll do that, the white one. All right, this is a rush delivery, so we're gonna go over here and hook up the horses. So. Now I'm in the yard, so I'm gonna uh, turn this on so I can see where this truck is. At. Okay, so it's over there. Yeah, not not a bad uh, back, you know, for the. First time doing it like that, that's not bad. If I had a track R, I, I know I could do better. That's a couple of the trailer. Yeah, it's still on the road. We got 328 miles. It's gonna be dark, getting dark soon. So how many people that plays this game uses this Volvo all the time? Um, you know, I mean, the one thing about these SCS trucks is, you know, and, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again, don't get me wrong, I mean, I enjoy a, a body truck. Um, I think the monitors, they do a great job, like I've said earlier, you know, these monitors, they do this for free. The monitors are great, they do a great job. Um, Go straight on. But... A lot of the stuff that they do, you don't see in real trucks. So that's why I use these SCS trucks. Um, they're pretty much like it would be in real life. For a lot of these companies out there. A lot of these companies out there, you don't see... They just It's just a bone stock truck. It's just whatever they make it better at the factory. That's, that's what they get order. And... And that's what kind of what SCS does. Now, I can say that I do hope that they will go back and rework this truck. And rework the Peterbilts. To like what the Mac is and the International. Because those are both very well more better done than this truck was done. This truck needs some work. As far as the interior and everything. It needs work. And I hope that they will go back and rework it. And make it better because it could be better 
than what it is. But as far as using it, I, I use it. I mean, I, I'm right. not and then gonna say I don't, because right. I do. Turn right. And for any of you guys that's watching this and you watch YouTube, you watch my YouTube channel, this will go up on my Turn YouTube left. channel. Just count being quiet, guys, when we get on the road here. It's gonna be getting dark on us very soon. Yes, guys, I want to get in here, like I said, start doing this more. I want to get in and start doing these more live streams. Like I said, it may not always be ATS. I'm, I'm going to try to look at some other games, too, of some stuff that I may can do. It definitely won't be LS Pretty Far right now. Until they can fix LS Pretty Far to the point where it doesn't crash like it was, because it, it was crashing way too much for me to even try to do another live stream with it. I can record videos with it all day, but... When you try to do a two or three hour live stream, it just, it will not hold, hold up to that, so, no, we're not going to do that. Another thing I want to say is, too, that I have got some editing software. I got to learn how to use it to where I can edit the videos. Straight on. Yeah, like I said, if you play this game, let me know. I mean, what, what truck you want us to use for these live streams? Because I want to know. I mean, if I don't hear anything, you know, then I'm just going to use what, what I want to use. So. get to a, uh, a stopping point like we did before like we had to go across the scale or something like that we'll uh, check the chat out make sure everything's going okay there just trying to focus on driving right now
thing too guys is ETS2, European Trunk Submitter. Um, I've had some requests to do that. I can do it ETS2. I don't play it as much as I do American Truck. I'm not really into the European trucks that much. Um, I do use body trucks over there because as I just said I, I don't like the European trucks. So I can do a live stream of that and I think we will do that one. I think we, we will do a one week we'll do an ETS2 video and um, live stream two nights and then maybe we'll, you know, we'll do ATS and maybe once a month or, so, or something like that maybe we'll uh, throw in an ETS2 video week. I think that would work. That way we can get in and do it Go and straight on. play it some. a different police car. I've never seen that before. Go straight on. Like I said, hope everyone's doing well. If anyone is just joining us, we just dropped our first load of cars. We went down from Bakersfield, California down to um, Phoenix, Arizona. Dropped a load of cars and we picked up um, I don't forget what we picked up. Uh, excuse me, wait a minute. White wine. We picked up some white wine. We're going up to Holbrook with the white wine. There's a new um, cargo mod that's come out over on the Steam Workshop and it gives you a, it's a, it gives you a, a bunch of different types of alcohol that you can haul. It comes with a texture for a trailer too but I just haven't done that yet. It doesn't come one with one for the truck that I haven't seen. But it does come with one for a trailer where you can actually put the texture on a trailer, that paint job. I think probably we drop off this next one and we pick up the next one we'll probably have to get ahead and get a thumbnail. I'm not going to get it right now because it is pitch dark. Hope everyone is enjoying the videos, guys. I've tried to stay talking. I'm trying to stay a little bit active, you know, talking in the video, not you know, not for it be just silent, except for you here in the truck. I want to talk a little bit, you know, and um, stuff like that. Let's check the mileage here, and I do that every time. We've Keep got right. 170 right. miles.
We don't want no ticket. We better slow down a little bit. Uh, one thing too, guys, that I want to mention is the next couple of videos, probably for a week, that I want to do put with LSPD for is on. I want to do a bike week with LSPD for. I think it's something that I want that I want to do is where we do two, and I may even throw in Port, Port Authority since Port Authority does have a bike. We do uh, two patrols with the motorcycle. Do a bike patrol. Um, I do have an extra motorcycle for Los Santos County and Blaine County. It's only one. It is a uh, BMW. But, I mean, we can use it for that. I think that would work. Um, I don't have another one, you know, a separate one. Because they are hard to find textures for. Not all the time, but it, it is hard, hard to find textures for a bike sometimes. So I found that BMW and I just put it in there and I've been using that and I think it works pretty well. So we'll, uh, we're going to be doing that. Kind of just changing it up a little bit. I did change the cars out. And I do apologize for that little bit of stutter. That it's still an issue in this game. That it's only in this game that, and I'm not the only one getting. There's a lot of some reports of uh, of that going on, performance issues and stuff. So, hoping that'll be fixed in the next update. They're saying they're gonna do some uh, fix. They're gonna fix uh, Idaho. So, I hope that that'll be fixed down here because it should not be doing that down here. Sorry about that guys, had to get me some, a little bit of something to drink there. Uh, if anyone, y'all, y'all want me to try to do another live stream of LSPD part, I'll be happy to try. Um, it didn't go well last time, so I don't think it's going to go well this time, but I can try it again. Just see how it goes, um. The mod has a mind of his own. It works when he wants to, and when it don't, it don't. I mean, that's pretty much the way to say it. That's pretty much what you would say about Alice Video Pro. That's the way it goes. Excuse me for that. Didn't mean to do that in the microphone. Uh, get a little bit of something to drink here in the ice and with popping. So let's check our mileage here. We got 72 miles. We're about 72 miles out from our drop. This is going to be a fun one because it's dark. Let me say, but yeah, let me know what you want to what you want to see as far as the modded truck, cause I will be I will be live streaming again on Friday night, um, and I am going to use a modded truck. I do have one in mind um, to use Friday night. 
So, you know, just shoot me a message. Let me know what you want to see. I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear, the, you know, the support of the channel. And for over here on Twitch, too. Um, really, I'm looking to get some more subscribers. Uh, need much as help as I can with that right now. If you're, if you're new and you just now start joining, if you just joined us, start joining for the stream. We're driving uh, SCS is a bobble. Being in, being SCS is Those bobble. Excuse me, I can't talk tonight. It's been a rough day, guys. We just left um, Phoenix, Arizona. We took a load of cars down there to Phoenix. We picked up some white wine down in Phoenix and we're heading up to Holbrook, Arizona with this white wine. Like I said, guys, I don't use a wheel, so I don't drive the best playing this. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't. I don't use a wheel, so. Turn right. I, I have one. I just don't have nowhere to put it to be able to set it up. Ready to turn left. Alright guys, we're in Holbrook. Turn left. Alright, let's see what they want this trailer. Alright, 
Let's see. They probably gonna want it in that corner. Yep. All right, guys. Should, should we try it? Should we try to go for two? I'm backing it. What do you think? All right, we're on the track. I don't think this is going to work. All right, give me a minute. Let me let me look and see. Well, we may be okay like that. I think we may be okay like that. All right, let's try it too. Getting it's pretty dark. Turn it too short. Let me straighten it up, guys, and we'll go back on the inside of the cab. I'm just trying to get it. One thing is, this trailer has multiple wheels. It's going to be harder to, to turn. We may have to do a little bit of the outside action with it. Just because of the way the kind of trailer it is. And it's going to be hard to turn it. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of the action. We'll go back on the inside and do some more vacuum from the inside too. This is going to be a little bit different with this type of trolling, though. Right? And the fact, too, that it is dark outside. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this one from the outside. We may have to do it this way.
me let me straighten up here. Well, I did a little bit of both on this one, I think. I think it's going to be our best bet. To get it in there. Yeah, it's... It's pitch dark. This would be a lot easier if we had a day cab. Ooh, that train, wow. Sorry about that, I, I didn't realize the trains that come in that wild. That's actually something that I do need to do. I need to run a day cab a little bit. Oh, we may have it now. Let's see if we can back it now. Let me straighten up a little bit, and then we'll try it again. Try to use those mirrors. Let me look at it. I don't know if I like that. Let me straighten the truck up a little bit and see if we can turn the trailer over a little bit. It's in there and it's pretty straight, but I want to straighten up a little bit. Alright, so let's back up. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. So we drove exit, we drove 329 miles, it took us 6 hours and 58 minutes to get here. We consumed 48 gallons of fuel. So let's see what else we can do. Uh, yeah. That one was a little bit tough, I had to say that we did have to use, um... Did have to use, um... A little bit of indoor and outdoor boats to uh, back that color because it is dark and that area is um, a little tough to do it. So we can go, we can do a run from Holbrook down to Yuma, which would be some rum, or we could do a harvester up to Idaho. This salmon Idaho. That's a little far. I think we'll go. We'll do this here. We'll just keep the FedEx trailer. I'm just looking to see where this. Let me turn this map on so I can see where this trailer is. Okay. That FedEx truck right there. I 
We're gonna get this back in, guys. Get on the road. We got our load. We dropped off our load. We're hauling her up. Load it run now. So let's get out of here. This is our third run for the night. Turn right. Everything looks good. Chat and everything's going very well. So we'll uh, be okay with that. Traffic's light right now, hardly no traffic on the bridge. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Yeah, we'd like to hit that truck. <laughs> Had to swing it high to get it in there. And he was there. But yeah, guys, well, it's talking about the, the Western Star that is coming out for ATS. I would definitely use the truck. Um, me personally, I, I like Western Star trucks. They're they've always been unique trucks to me. Get ready to the, turn left. You know the body style and the way that Freightliner does them. Cause they are owned by you know owned by Freightliner. So I mean, it's you're pretty much getting a Freightliner. With the West Star, I mean that's Turn left. pretty much what you're getting. I mean, get up to speed and stuff here. Go straight on. Alright, we're... We're on a ship where we should be now. Like I said, well, I get a thumbnail. I'll have to wait against daylight, dude. Because I am recording this, too. For all my people over on YouTube, they like likes my YouTube videos. want to make everyone happy here, guys.
And like I said, you know, anyone have any ideas on what modded truck we should run? You know, let me know. I mean, I, I want to know. I mostly only run modded trucks that's on the Steam Workshop. I don't download too many. Occasionally, if I see one that I really want to run, I would download it and run it. But mostly what I use is on the Workshop. Because I think you can trust those a little bit more than what you can get off a of mod site. When I do run one, I don't run them much. Just kind of being quiet for a minute, just kind of concentrating on driving. So we didn't do it too bad. Well, I mean, we had to use a little bit of both for that one. It being dark and where they wanted the trailer. Um, I think if I would have had track R, I could have done better in backing it. Um, I, like I said, I don't have it, so. But we didn't do it really too bad with backing it with both. Using the outside view and the, and the inside view too. It's something that I'm going to be practicing on. I want to back them from the inside of the truck. A little bit of night view from outside here. I think we'll roll the window down a little bit. Just a little. Not all the way. Yeah, about half of the way. Hear the sound of that Volvo engine with the window down. Right. 
keep black. Another construction area. Yeah, guys, I'm just I'm just trying to be quiet, you know, just trying to talk some and not talk all the time. Let you hear the sound of this bobble and look at the sights, which I know is dark. We got 311 miles to go for this loop, and this is a quick delivery, so you know that means we got we got to get it there. Let me pop that map back up. <laughs> it is five o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, we got 290 miles. Let's try not hit the bus. Go straight on. That would be bad. And guys, last time that I tried to do a live stream over here on Twitch, which it doesn't until on YouTube, I had my, there was my old, my other computer, the one I used to have, and it had got where I couldn't do this with that computer, and it would not, it would freeze, 
have a few minutes and, and it's not the internet I mean because as you can see it's working fine with this computer but the other one it just got where you, you could not record with it no more you couldn't live stream no more it just it would not work it didn't matter what you done you could reinstall shadow play you could you know, anything it just it would not work should get enough daylight out of this run we can get a thumbnail. But I need to get one because like I said I am recording this for uh, YouTube. Something happened over there? Look at that. Go straight on. Also, I want to say too, I'm going to be doing uh, multiple uh, runs with real texture paint jobs. There's a gentleman that has posted a bunch of different paint jobs for the truck and trailer over on the Steam Workshop. So we're going to be using that. I've already done one video with Callaway with the Peterbilt 579. So we're going to be using it. There's actually a couple of them out there for this Volvo. Go straight on. So we would definitely be using it. I don't know what that is. That it hasn't been doing that. I'm not looking to see what mod I'm going to call it. Now. Could be the traffic mod that I'm using too. That that is a possibility. Pretty bad stuttering in this area. Turn right. 
turn right. Hold on, man. Let me. I want to get an idea of where we're at so I can kind of pinpoint that. Right, we are. Well, we haven't been gone from Phoenix very long. We just passed through Phoenix. So we're pretty much in Arizona. Okay. So I can kind of look and see where, what could be caused of that issue with that stutter. Well, that's, that's bad. Right. Yeah, it could be that traffic mod. Causing problems. Because it's doing it during the day, because there's, there's more traffic on the road, so that may be an issue. Alright guys, I think we're going to go ahead and get a thumbnail right here. Go ahead and bring the a little bit more there. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and get our thumbnail and we got it for YouTube. We may have taken that one a little bit down the road just to be safe, just to make sure that is not too dark. It could be. Um, we'll see how it goes. Maybe on the last run, if we have some daylight, we may go ahead and just do another one. Just to be on the safe side. Who the helicopter over there? say too guys is I tried to do a video of Wreckfest showing off the new uh, the season 2 update for Wreckfest and unfortunately it would not take the thumbnail from, from Steam. Uh, YouTube says that the thumbnail is, is too much memory. It can only be 2 megabytes and it was more than that so it would not let, up, up, let, let me upload a thumbnail. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. I still have the video. I'm still gonna have to. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna make a, a thumbnail for it to show it off. Let's check our mileage here. We're 88 miles out.
Just kind of been a little quiet for a minute. Also, if you uh, if you if you do watch my YouTube channel, I did just release a video over there for LSPDFR. Uh, one of the latest videos over there. I am going to be recording more of that tomorrow. Plane up there, or a helicopter? Is that a bird? No, it's a helicopter. Oh, they're looking for out there. There's a tower there. right and then turn right. Turn right. Turn over here by the heart, which is in your in real life is loves.
keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Welcome everyone, if anyone is new and is just now joining the stream, we're in Yuma, we've got a load of uh, rum, we're dropping off over here, this is like, our, this is our third run, we're using the Volvo VNN, SES's truck, tonight, uh, Turn let's right. see where they want to, you have arrived at your destination. we're going to drop this off at Walmart, Let's see what they want to try. Alright. Go right in the back. Alright guys, should we try it again? Should we try to back it in? I think we should. At least it is daylight, we'll be able to see a little bit better. Like I said, I don't have a head tracker, so I'm trying to do this the best I can. I've had a lot of requests to, to try to back from the truck, uh, inside the truck, so... We'll do what we can. I think we just messed ourselves up here. Let me pull this way a little bit so we can fix it. I think we just screwed up. Let me just sit, look go to the outside for a minute. Okay. Stop it for a minute. Right. Just so I can kind of see where we're at here. Yeah, we, uh, we screwed that one up. Turn this way. It cut it sharp. Get a truck. Get a truck. Come on. We can do this.
I'm gonna go back on inside, guys. I'm just trying to look at what, what we're doing here. Really need an FOB mod, bad. I have not been able to find one that works, though. No, what are you doing, Charlie? We don't need to go that way, we need to go there. Yeah, we're, we really screwed this, this drop up. We really screwed this drop up. He take a look outside. Oh, that's not bad though. It was pretty close. Ain't getting it there. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Well, don't don't lose it now. Straight up a little bit. Turn it this way so I can see. Yeah, that's not bad. Alright guys, well, we, we, we did screw it up, but we saved it, so. So we did get it in there. I mean, we had to look a little bit. We drove, we drove 500 miles. It was excellent. It took us 9 hours and 40 minutes to get here. We could send 68 yards of fuel. So let's see what we got next. Right, we're in, we're on the verge of California. That one is 270. We don't want to haul the same thing. And I don't think that's the gig. You wouldn't call that out of a water line. That one is, that is a little bit farther. That's 398 miles. That's some, I'm gonna show you. We're not gonna do that. Let me um, look and see what else is in this area. We're not gonna do Walmart. No, I, I don't wanna haul the same. We ain't going all the way up there. That's a little farm than what I want to do. Alright, here's a load. Uh, we could take this some beverages down to Kingman. We could do that. That wouldn't be too bad. We'll do that. I don't want to keep hauling the same cargo. You know, keep hauling beer. Or, you know, use it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was trying to turn the map back to the second screen. Well, let's go down here and pick up our load. Right down the road here. I don't want to keep hauling the same thing though. I want to you know, change it up and haul something different instead of keep hauling alcohol. Turn left. Turn right.
So we're not doing bad on dropping the trailer. We still got a little bit to go. Like I said, I I don't have a um, a tracker R. If I had that, it would really help. But not doing bad. Turn left. I'm using a real company that's mod, guy. That's how I'm getting the real companies. White Dawn here, you know. Not Dawn. I don't know why it's thinking. Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Beverages. Let's go to the park trailer. Let's see. Park trailer is. Let's see over there. So this will be the fourth run for the night. We're gonna do one more after this one, and that's probably where we're gonna, where we're gonna end up crawling it out. Be the last one for the night. Right, we're on something. Let's see. Oh. Yep, we just scraped the whole side of our truck. They're gonna love that shot. To fix that damage.
this closed up and get on the road. And we may go ahead, like I said, and take one more thumbnail. As a backup, right. in this case, I don't like the other one. Which I think we're gonna do that. Let's go ahead and do it now. That way, just in case I don't want the other one, I've got an extra thumbnail sitting there that I can use. And once I you get, learn how to do my editing software, guys, all this stuff will be cut out. You won't see this no more in the videos, nothing like that. I have to get fuel on this trip. Turn right. I think it would be a good idea if we see a station go ahead and stop and fill up. At least we get a little bit of back road driving for this one. Not going to be stuck on the interstate. We, 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 we may have to get on a little bit later, but right now at least we're getting some back road. And guys, if we uh, see a scale, we get stopped by a scale, we'll go by, I'll check the chat and stuff, see what's going on with all that.
Just come being quiet for a minute, guys. Enjoying the sight. Well, they got it for speeding. Oh well. Turn left. Turn left. Yeah, guys, just kind of sit back and join the sights. And just kind of being quiet, listening to this marble engine. And just enjoying the drive. You know, I've said many times that this is one relaxing game. This game will put you to sleep if you, if you don't want your game. It will when you drive it. Now we're gonna go around this, so it's gonna be not legit, but we're not gonna go to this. So we're gonna go around them. Exit right. I know we don't do this, but for the sake of recording, okay. The fire truck is on top of the CHP car. Okay. That's weird. Okay, it just hopped down his wheel. Alright.
Something new. Learn something new every day. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Guys, we may not do five runs tonight. I think we may call it after this one because I, I have some other things I need to work on. I wanted to do five runs, but I think we may do only do four today. Because I do have some other stuff I need to work on tonight on LSPD Par. So... Straight on. We just blew that stop sign. <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> oh no, that was a CHP sign. <laughs> didn't even see that stop sign and we come down that hill. <laughs> that was a good one. Unmarked, oh, like unmarked. Thirteen Explorer just went by. So that they must have updated that and added some unmarked, which is good. I mean, that police mine, it's, it's great. But I've been seeing some unmarked rolling around too, which is fantastic. Think we got our thumbnail earlier. Whoop. Foot hit my desk and move, move the mouse. Oh, 
human get tired of Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. This will be back in uh, Arizona. Get that 75 mile. There we go. 75 mile on speed limit. Go straight on. Here quick. Turn well, we, right. We must be pretty close. There's Arizona Hollywood Trail. I do that every time. Yeah, we're close. I'm sorry about that, guys. I hit the wrong button. I'm not used to that. Yep, Arizona Hollywood Trail and that torch. So we're going to have to probably turn around and back then to the other way. I would say that would probably be the best way to do this. We're definitely going to try to back it from the inside again. Let me get out of the trouble. Yeah, I think we'll be okay like that. Turn off the flash.
we're going too far. Try this game. We need to cut it sharp. Not bad, we can straighten it up a little bit though. We're still learning how to do this. Yeah, we're way out. Okay. Hold on. We're on the side of it. So we're not there. Alright, let's stop it there for a minute. I want to see if we're actually in the line. Mm. A little bit. If I can we go over a little bit, we'll, we can start lining it. Good thing there's not another trouble in there. We're not going to need to do that. We're going to straighten it up. Let's be look at it. Yeah, I'm not happy with that at all. So let's, let's fix the problem. We're gonna fix that. that that's not my place. Still not quite there. Let's straighten it up. Back here straight. All right, we drove excellent. We drove 277 miles. It took us six hours and 12 minutes to get here. We consumed 37.9 gallons of fuel. So we got loaded on this.
this. I don't have my map on, so I was trying to see where the trucker is. That's not too bad, I mean... Still gotta practice some. Alright guys, that's where we're going to call this live stream tonight. I'm going to get in here and uh, do a couple runs with the Volvo. Um, I'm not sure yet what truck we will be running next week. Um, we may run this truck again. I'll have to wait and see exactly what we're going to do. As far as I, I can tell you, we will, we will be running a modded truck on Friday. I don't know exactly which one yet. I haven't decided that. So anyways, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and don't forget to follow me over on Twitch and on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Have a good day. Alright guys, for you guys on YouTube, I want to say I do apologize for not starting the video right at the beginning. Um, I totally forgot that I wanted to record it with y'all watching. Um, so I, I want to say thank you for everyone that did it, that, that does watch the video, and uh, have a good day.